Hello everyone, Jeremy here for Tech for Tut. Alright, so this is the video uh, presentation documentation for the JQ Twitter plugin. It's a plugin I developed myself. Um, so basically the, uh, the documentation, very simple. Uh, let's look actually, before we uh, just uh, look at the demo, Just let's just look at the, uh, the jQuery.jqtwitter.js file, so the plugin itself. And you see here we have four options. So we have the username. You can pass in any username you want. Uh, the count, which is basically the number, the number of tweets to uh, to display. Um, show image. It's uh, boolean, so either true or false. And here the image size. So the size of the the avatar, basically. So here I've made here a file. Well, actually, we'll make it, we'll make one later on. Um, but I just want to point out what we did what I did actually so um, <clears throat> basically you need to import jQuery and the uh, JS file for the, the plugin you can rename it whatever you want you know to make it simpler for you if you want to um, so I did here uh, I put into my markup a blank unordered list and up there I have a call to this unordered list and I call in the plugin JQ Twitter I pass in those uh, settings, so username, I put tech for tuts, uh, the count to six, and the show image to true. Now, uh, I could um, do image size and set the image size to whatever I want, but by default, it says to f it's set to 48 pixels. You can change it to whatever you want. So those are the default ones. Default is the username Twitter, uh, the count is set to five, the show image to true, and the image size to 48. <coughs> so by default, uh, 48 is fine, so I'll just leave it like that. And I have some uh, CSS there. Um, just also to point out that this plugin is CSS friendly. As you can see, uh, we have an li which has an uh, the class of tweet item. I did leave here commented um, for option. It's an option for anyone really who wants to uh, to use it. You know, I don't specifically know why people want to use it you know you never know um it's uh basically here you can add a div class uh, a div with a class of tweet pick and there so i left it commented so people can uncomment it and uh use their css to their liking if they want to you know it's you know, just keep it open to people so this is all css friendly uh the text of course can be modified with the uh, live class tweet item uh, the, and the tweet uh, the image has a uh, class of tweet IMG so this is the the CSS friendly features of this plugin so let's go and launch that so I'm using here Firefox and you can see we have here all my Twitter feeds and um, you know so those are old ones by the way but you know uh, show you so we have uh, so each uh, picture is a link to to the site to the, the Twitter site it's a link here to my Twitter and we can see here that links are converted here and links such as I don't have an example here so I'll just change here to I believe Google has some so we'll change the username to Google, save it, and you see here that we do have um, the at ones, um, at links are are converted, and they automatically refer to the uh, user uh, Twitter page. And also, uh, I saw one that had some that was active tuts, uh, great site by the way. And they have here ashes, hashes basically, I launch this with a search, a flash here, air. I'm gonna launch a search. So it searches here, you can see searches, you can see down here, uh, searches for 
clear air, search it here for flash. Senior search flash and real time results for flash. Great. So, uh, so that's the presentation of my Twitter plugin, my jQuery plugin, Twitter jQuery plugin. Um, so, you know, when you download, you will have something that looks somewhat like this. Uh, this will be renamed demo, by the way. Uh, so, you have here the README, which basically uh, just lists out the, the settings you can change and also the link to this video. Um, the jQuery library, I think this is, I don't think this is the latest version. Uh, you have to use the latest version, it's better. And here, jQuery.jq Twitter. Uh, this is version one. And uh, we'll see what I can add in uh, other versions. Right, so thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.